There are uh, close to 4 million people living in refugee camps across Africa. Of the more than 300 camps, near 70 percent are situated within 30 kilometers to 50 kilometers of an international border. They include some of the largest camps in the continent, such as Kakuma in northern Kenya, Nyalugusu in western Tanzania, and the Bidi Bidi in northwestern Uganda. The closer the camp is to an international border, border the easier it is for people on both sides of the border to interact what this means is that healthy refugees in Kakuma for example can walk across the Kenyan border and get to Uganda or South Sudan within a day or two it also means that rebel groups operating in any of these countries can access the refugee camp this is access to refugees benefits rebel groups across the border in addition asylum countries like Tanzania and Kenya may choose refugee policies that help rebel groups in this fashion. Exploitation by armed groups in one of the many threats refugees in border camps face. Often, refugees are not allowed to leave camps to seek work, making them dependent on aid. Young refugees, particularly men, are vulnerable to armed rebel groups that recruit people to their causes. The groups also informally tax refugees by taking a share of the aid they receive or demanding contributions. Researchers and aid groups have suggested that rebel groups take advantage of refugees because host countries cannot or will not stop them. This logic focuses on lack of will or capacity of such host countries as Chad or the Central African Republic, but this ignores their strategy. Even governments of poor countries choose where to allocate resources, for example, rather than being inept or incapable of protection, Chad's approach to refugees has been consistent with a broader approach to its relations with Sudan. Thank you so much for watching.